we're just going to call you Big Mammer Jammer. <laughs>
Um, that's a great question because it doesn't matter if you're Ford uh, guy or Chevrolet guy or Cummins guy, it doesn't matter what you are. Uh, everybody at some point in time may have cylinder head off and, and that's extremely important. Prep work is, uh, it, it lays the groundwork for the entire job. Uh, so the best way to do it if uh, you are working on it in the vehicle is to find the smoothest, uh, like a wet rock, um, a very smooth stone like that. It's really great if you can find one that is the same, uh, that is wider than the, um, the block itself or the head area. That way you can kind of use it um, like a planer, you know. So I've tried it uh, to get different RA finishes and see what I could get out of it. That was the best and I tried several different things and several different ways to do that. So when you're doing uh, prep work like that, the big thing to remember, obviously cleanliness, trying to keep all that grit and all that trash from getting in the cylinder walls that can wind up scratching cylinder walls up. Um, also, uh, keep it out of the lifter bore area uh, so that you don't have any contamination there. But a large stone like an Arkansas wet rock that's wider than the, the block itself, that seems to work the best. All right, so this next question is from James. It says, hello, once you've, uh, once you fix the crankshaft, main journals two and four on the 6.4 power stroke, have you removed the crankshaft uh, after a period of time and checked for the journals? Um, yeah, actually we have. Um, we've ran them, sorry for the noise in the background, guys. Uh, but anyway, we have pulled the, the cranks out at 50,000, 100,000, and 150,000 miles. And the most that we saw in deflection or run out was about 1,000. Good question, thanks for asking. Okay, so this uh, last question, or excuse me, this next question is from Elvis. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. I know you get that a lot, don't you? Anyways, what kind of power levels do the Cali's Duramax, uh, or the Duramax Durastar crankshafts hold up to? I'm pushing 1,400 horsepower or so, but my stock LLY crank decided to break. Uh, thank goodness it happened before I made a pass. Well, yeah, that's a good question. Um, the Cali's uh, is rated to hold 1,200 horsepower. Um, you know, it's it's a solid crank, but if I was really looking to make that kind of power out of a crank, um, you're gonna have to spend some. More, you're really gonna have to spend some coin on it, and a Winberg crank would probably be my choice for that. Um, big power uh, crankshafts uh, generally are, are Winbergs and the Duramaxes. So that's that's been our experience, and they've helped really well. All right. So the next question comes from Three Spikes Woodwork. How is the best way to learn exactly which customizations would be truly beneficial? for meeting my goals without going over the top um, and throwing the extra things on that may not be necessary. Um, my goal is to build an extremely tough and super durable engine, uh, but I also realize I'm not going to be able to drag race or sled pull, although tow performance is a top priority. How do you know where to draw the line? Um, the best way is to find someone uh, who's experienced and has done what you're asking to do. Um, somebody that's kind of gone down every road and has either spent the money investing in learning uh, somebody that's done multiple setups um, and kind of has experience with that platform um, and I happen to know a guy so give me a call uh, we'd be happy to talk to you about it thanks for asking all right so the last question comes from big bam we're just going to call you big mammer jammer She's a bad that works for you, okay? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, do you use any type of sealer on the outer edge or gasket of the bed plate on a 6064 power stroke before installing the plate and torquing? Uh, the answer is yes, we do, but it's really important, and we use a TA31 for that. TA31 is great as stuff in sliced bread, but uh, the big thing to do is make sure it's on the outer edge of the seal. If not, it can get into the engine, and if it gets into the engine, it'll, it'll cause all kinds of problems. So make sure it's clean, put it on the outer edge of the seal. Hope that helps. All right, thanks uh, again for the questions. Uh, appreciate that. So if you have any questions about your Cummins, Duramax, or Power Stroke, uh, leave it in the comments below, and we'll make sure that we get to it on our next Q&A uh, video. Thanks again.